Antarctica, that's my keyword. The reason why I'm sitting outside today is because I am going to Austria in two weeks to do a soda. The reason why I put soda in air quotes is because I'm just gonna be up on a mountain trying some things out for a proof of concept. My family has a little cabin up there and it's about 6,200 feet, about 2,000 meters um, up in the mountains and it's completely off the grid. Uh, there's no power. Uh, running water comes from a creek, you know, you understand the whole nine yards here. And I'm trying to get a setup that I can take to Austria to um, do my de facto soda. So I have a couple of things to solve because I don't have any electricity up there. I need to be self-sufficient, right? So I, am, I have solar panels here and I can charge this amazing portable battery here. So that's good. So with this part battery being charged by the solar panel during the day in the sunny mountains, I can then operate this radio on its own battery. The problem is it's only going to be six watts because it doesn't, it's not connected to a power outlet. So I was researching some options of what to do. How can I use this portable battery to power my radio directly and charge it at the same time. I went on Amazon and researched a couple of options, portable batteries, but they were all clunky and big because usually I travel very light and we have the issue with going to Europe on an airplane. You cannot really take a large lithium battery on the airplane. But this compact power bank I found on Amazon is quite amazing. It's the Aferi Nano 100. It has 99.2 watt hours. You can charge and output 45 watt max with uh, USB-C PD and you can also do 100 watts in and out through this retractable USB-C cable. This is totally fine on the plane. Of course, you have to put it into your carry-on. So, first problem I have to solve, how do I power the radio directly from a battery like this that has no outputs that I can use? I mean, I have this cable that came with the FTX-1 and I put a power pole against this, right, on this, but this doesn't plug in here, right? I mean, I can always use this huge battery here, but the problem is this huge battery doesn't fit in the plane and I'm not allowed to take this on the plane. So what other options do I have? Well, the first thing I thought, I'm gonna get something like this, like a cigarette lighter um, plug and plug this into this wonderful battery here. But if I do this, and this output down here gives me 45 watts, which should be plenty and enough to do. And with these little dip switches, I can actually select the voltage. I think the first one is 5, the second is 12, the third one is 15, and the fourth one is 20. So 15 is a little high, but I think it's a 10% tolerance level that the FTX1 can take. So if I plug in this into the 45 watts, and then I'm gonna take this cigarette lighter cable and connect it to my power pole that's connected to the radio. But first I have to take the battery out because we wanna prove it works. So let me turn this off, take the battery off, Now I'm gonna connect this. So now this is directly connected. This is not showing me anything that it's pulling any kind of power. And let me see if I can turn this on. Nothing works. So this is not getting enough power to operate this radio. Let's do a quick check if the cabling works, if I didn't mess something up. 
and see if it works here. Yeah, that works fine. So this is now the external battery. Goes in here. Okay, so this works. So this combination here doesn't work. It's not pulling enough power. What I did other time when I tested this, I was able to get the radio to run, but every time you transmit, it would uh, turn off because it's not powerful enough or whatever. This, this connection doesn't work. Okay, so then I Googled something. Actually, I posted something on Reddit and said, how do I get a USB-C PD that has up to 100 watts? Because this has 100 watts, but more about this later. This has a wonderful... A ratchet connected cable uh, that um, gives you 100 watts PD, but more about this later. So I uh, went on Reddit and see, okay, I need to solve a problem. I want to connect my USB C PD to my radio and exactly what I'm trying to do in Austria. And then someone sent me a link to a cable on Amazon that has USB C on one end. and a barrel connector on the other end. And this is um, patched to actually do 15 volts. So I'm going to be within the 10% tolerance that the radio allows. So when I plug this into the 45 watt output PD, and I have to use this barrel connector adapter that actually fits into the FTX one, little side note, getting any adapters or any plugs, male plugs that fit there is apparently the most difficult thing to do in Amazon. So then I'm going to disconnect this cable now and connect the cable that I have connected to this power bank here. And the radio turns on. So it's all wonderful. And I can see that it pulls seven watts right now. And I could go 5.3 hours with this on a 46% charge. Not bad. But remember, on the mountain, I'm going to power the radio with the battery. But I wanted to try if I actually could run the FTX one with an external battery. Now I want to see what happens if I transmit. And for that, I'm going to connect my two meters to a dummy load so I'm not getting any complaints so when I hit transmit right now it's still on the radio and the battery shows me it's pulling now 37 watts the battery's turning pulling 37 watts okay 38 so I can totally run this radio through this external battery. Wonderful. Now let's take a quick look at the um, power settings of how much. Actually, uh, one thing I can try for, I go and transmit again. And as you can see, it shows the 10 watt output right here. So this is outputting 10 watts and that's six because it's powered by an external battery. And if I want to go into the settings. So here we can see it says RF power is 10 watts. So this is working. Perfect. So this is great. Now, during my research, um, because I became desperate, because apparently, you know, it's really difficult to find something like this. I mean, this cable is actually solving the problem. But this is pulling, pushing out 15 volts. So I don't know if this is going to be good in the long term, even that the tolerance level is in there. So I wanted to see if there's anything I can get or any cables or adapters that I could use to actually output 13.8 volts from a 12 volts PD USB. And I came across this little device. It's called Ham Power Plus from a guy called RF Guru, and he's in Belgium. And it inputs USB C PD and outputs up to 50 watts and a power pole. 
This one says it's 14.8 volts, but the website said 13.8. Um, I will have to double check and then post an update. So with this, if I disconnect this now here, and no longer connect it to this, and I'm going to disconnect this. And now I'm going to use this wonderful cable that will give me 100 watts, up to 100 watts, and connect it into this wonderful thing. And then I'm going to use this as well. It's 14.3 volts actually. And now I'm gonna plug in my radio into this. And this is my cable that came with the radio and plug it in. So with this connected now, it shows me 14 volts in idle seven watts. If I hit transmit, I'm getting 13.5 volts and 36 watts. And that's what the power works, what meter shows me, and the battery shows me it's holding 42 watts. And of course, I'm going to take my wonderful brand new FTX one up to the mountain. And the best part, I'm going to show you one more thing, is that I can... Let's disconnect the radio real quick. Um, I can charge this wonderful battery with the solar panel, which is compact enough to fit in a bag to go up on the mountain. This is 60 watts. It's a Blue Eddy. I'll put um, the details in the, in the description below. And of course now it's a little overcast, but it will show you something anyway. And if I plug this in directly with this wonderful cable, Unfortunately, it's a little overcast and it's already 7 p.m. So I'm not getting any wattage out of the solar panel. I was able to recharge the battery the next day when it was sunny out. The issue with this solar panel is that it's only putting out 30 watts on the USB-C output. If I want to do 60 watts, I have to go through the barrel connector. So far, I have not been able to find a solution to output the 60 watts from the solar panel and input it via the USB-C. This will be something for another video. But one more thing I wanted to show you while I'm here is, so this is now a larger battery pack, of course, with 99.2 99 watt hours. But in theory, you can use any battery that has a little oomph, right? So you can actually even use this little anchor here to do the same thing. And I'm gonna do this real quick before I'm getting harassed by the clouds to go back inside. Plug it in here. Battery's disconnected. Put this in here. And the radio is on. And if I go on two meters again and transmit, so you can see in idle, this is 8.3 watts. And when I hit transmit, it goes up to 37.4 at the full 10 watts. So you can even do this on an anchor battery like this. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And for now, it's K1MBL out.
Oh, I almost forgot to close the loop because, of course, I want to recharge my battery up on the mountain when I'm off the grid, right? So here's a time lapse of recharging an almost empty battery of the FTX One. And as you can see, it takes about seven and a half hours and drains about 80% of the portable battery.